Welcome everybody to another episode of Ask a Photo Pro. Today we're getting into three photographers that you've never heard of that are going to inspire. These photographers all have a very distinct style from commercial application to the use of natural light, artificial light, using video and making their video look exactly like their photography. They're storytellers and they're all completely, completely unique. Let's get into this week's inspiration. And we are going to start with the photography of Rodrigo Maltchik. Now, Rodrigo Maltchik is also a cinematographer. And we are going to start with looking at this short that he did for Oscar Mayer. Now, when you see the photography from his Oscar Mayer spot, and now look at the story that he has created, you can see how his photography and the video, his lighting, his use of sets, you can see that this photographer is incredibly creative, but also is having fun with photography. The happy face, the birthday hats, the cakes, and of course, the main concept for Oscar Mayer in this particular story is the hot dog cake. Stupid or genius is the concept. Stupid or genius is the concept of this particular story. We're not going to watch all of the, the audio, I mean the video spots, but you can see how the photography and the video literally look. Obviously, everything is done on the same day. The photographer also directed and shot the creative. It was provided, the creative was provided by an, um, obviously an advertising agency. But when you look at Malt Cheek, which is how he likes to go, when you look at Malt Cheek's other photography, particularly his website, you really get a great sense of the fact that he does these campaigns and it's a business that is working for him. You can see the way that he has uh, a diversity in his work. He doesn't discriminate. He shoots all different ethnic backgrounds. He shoots all different skin tones. He shoots everything that I like to see in a portfolio as well as body styles. The thing that, again, I think is super critical when it comes to being a photographer is we're not always looking for perfect. And what makes this photographer really special to me is everybody's beautiful. Whether you're tall, short, whether you're skinny or not, the look and feel of this photographer's work just highlights all of that. And I really, really appreciate it. Let's look back at the fact that he uses really bold colors and the fact that if you look at this website and from the home page how he has color combinations that pop off of his pop off of each other the way that these thumbnails relate and also the use of motion in his website and the use of motion on the thumbnails this is something that I 100% am going to add. You can see when you're looking at an overview of a photographer's site, when you're really just coming into the homepage, you want to be knocked on your socks, knocked out of your socks. And seeing this right from the top, seeing how he has essentially animated GIFs, that's something that I'm going to incorporate into my website. I want you guys to be thinking, wow, what a great idea of something to incorporate into your website and then also I don't want you to forget the way that Malt Cheek uses color and pulls color off of each other. 
the way that he uses bold primaries, as well as very nondescript backgrounds in order to execute the work that he's showing. I think that his work, and also the whole damn good advice angle for all of his stories, I think is a really cool vibe. This particular work, yes, may feel a little bit more commercial, but I think the way that he uses such diverse models of all different ages just makes him a photographer for me that stopped me in my tracks. His use of natural light as well as artificial light, the way that his work looks in the studio versus the way that his work looks on location, it's all I found super, super interesting. He looks like his photo shoots are fun. And that's something that I think is super critical for us to hold on to. There was one or two more images that I want to show you. Uh, just look at the impact that this has. I just think that there's so we can go so far with our websites. We can go so far with using GIFs, with using movement, even if that movement is a series of stills to kind of animate and make look like things are moving. I just think that it's a, a really, really great idea and a great start to today. That is Rodrigo Malt Sheet. Hope you guys enjoyed Rodrigo. The next photographer that I have for you guys, his name is Pierre Turteau. And Pierre is a Parisian photographer, and he has just such a beautiful use of natural light. Let's get into Pierre. Pierre Turteau, look at the use of natural light in this particular story, the way that he has a shaft of light. He has great details in his highlights, amazing details in his shadow. Oh, beautiful, almost Rembrandt lighting, but for you guys who know lighting, you can see the direction of the sun that's coming exactly. He ha It's very flattering on her face. He just, you can't lose with natural light. And this story with this shaft of light again and his top down angle is stopped me dead in my tracks. We are looking at the work of Pierre Tuteau. There's links for all of these photographers in the description of the video that you're watching. Again, look at this. Just you can you feel like you're literally there with this subject. I love it. Really beautiful smoke, really beautiful use of modeling. I mean, the backlight and the leading line of the windows is everything. Honestly, the way that everything points to this model, the little bit of use of skin, the backlighting, and the fact that there's no fill. Detail out here in the highlights. And lastly, the reflection on the glass on is just... I just find this particular story really, really special. We are looking at the work of Pierre Kirchhoff. Oops, I think it keeps playing the wrong. I'm trying to, oh, look at the girl's abs and the body lines here force her to hyper extend her abdominals. She's wearing bare feet. She's wearing bare feet. Is that, do you wear bare feet? <laughs> The abdominals, I just think, is great. And the slight blur, the movement and the dynamic cross composition in this shot, I just think is fantastic. I hope you guys agree. Wow. Again, Pierre Turteau. He's from Paris. And you can see very, very like Helmut Newton inspired, which I think is also very cool. We are going to just take a boo at Pierre's website because I think that that's really where I want to take you guys next is to the website because the website really it's a great way to get a sense of the photographer I feel when you look at a photography website oh my word that's what's creating all that noise when you look at a photography website that's when you really get a sense of the shooter and 
Pierre's website, I think is, it's really strong. So I've looked at this photographer for a while. This is definitely not the first time I've seen this photographer, but does this not stop you in your tracks? The fact that he has found a shed skin from a snake and then had the model put that shed skin on her tongue. Like this is, to me, this is everything. Just everything. The use of contact sheets. Again, we are looking at the work of Pierre Turteau. The double exposure, but the zoom. This is so clever. The way that he has the face and then a larger face. Or like just so 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 clever the his use of motion slow shutter in the studio and that first natural light behance story that i showed you now looking at the portfolio and more of the work do you see what i see look at the way that this model's neck seems hyper extended because he's done a double exposure it's just very very surreal and creative just great 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 vibes from the shooter hope you guys are agreeing hope you guys feel it this is another image that really, I think, served this photographer well. I've seen this picture before, and this is one of his older images, but really just stopped me and made me save his website. I think I skipped one there. Just made me save his website. Leave a comment if you like Pierre Turteau and his work and his approach to natural and artificial light. Oh, this is another image. I'm so glad that I didn't leave. I've, I completely forgot about this photo, but this is the photo. This is the photo that I saw way back years ago when I first discovered Pierre Turteau's work. This was the image. This was the image that I saved his website based on this photograph. And look at the ring light you can see his use of ring light there by that highlight tell me this photograph isn't everything tell me that this doesn't as if you're a portrait photographer if you're a fashion photographer tell me that this doesn't make you want to put maple syrup on a subject's face really fantastic work from pierre turteau Again, today's episode is all about inspiration. I'm trying to motivate and have you guys dying to go out with your cameras as soon as I stop this episode. Pierre Turteau, everybody. Really, really strong, strong. Oh, oh. Look at this photography. Look at this photography. This girl's brows are everything. The sharpness, the head angle, the use of natural light indoors. It, it's incredibly magic. Do leave a comment if you're feeling the work of Pierre Turteau. Look at this work here and this idea using uh, a plastic drop cloth over top of the model's face. How clever is this for an idea that you guys could try right now. Very Helmut Newton inspired, great line, great shadows. Look at these shadows, it's everything. The dramatic side of her face, the way that her head angle, body angle, everything about this photograph, this photographer gets it. Oh. And you can see this is an idea that is a reoccurring theme throughout this photographer's work, this one particular filter that he uses. 
So again, Pierre Tertot, just giving you a quick overview of what this portfolio looks like, how high impact some of his ideas are. And I hope some of these ideas are ideas that you're going to want to jump out there and get into like now, right? Pierre Tertot. All right. The next photographer I have for you today, this photographer is based out of California, LA. He calls himself a storyteller through photography. And the storyteller I'm speaking about right now, his name is Aaron Brimhall. And Aaron Brimhall's photography, this particular story that I'm starting out with today is the one that grabbed me. Just look at the leading line, all of these arrows pointing into this skater this super big ollie right in the highlight, the exact time of day with the exact sun, the leading line that brings your eye into the photograph on all sides, this little mushroom of brightness in a relatively dark scene. And then of course the cars, the fluorescent lights, this photograph, just this is an award winner this is a showstopper and this is the work of aaron broomhall brim hall my bad aaron brimhall and this is all part of the same story and you can see how this is a skateboard inspired story again look at the the idea from this photographer aaron uh, the way that he, Mr. Brimhall, the way that he shoots and his ideas, look at the leading line and how detailed this photo is. You can start down here and go up here. It crosses three levels. It shows stairs, escalators, and this incredible trick. The way that the leading line, I mean, this picture is just mind bending and again i hope you guys realize why i chose aaron brimhall as a photographer to share with you today for those of you guys who know skateboarding you can see how hard that this guy is pumping and pushing to go around this corner and again his perspective and the fact that you're seeing down here down here down here and just a hint of the layer above him aaron brimhall just really really special even if you're not into skateboarding you can see how this isn't skateboarding photography this is just photography and storytelling and an incredible use of perspective if this was my work it would be in the forefront of my portfolio i just think that this guy killed this story his mix of editorial behind the scenes moments with epic tricks is really special really special i think that this is fire i hope you guys are enjoying this oh aaron brimhall all right so this just one angle from aaron's work and i think that it's important to look at not just that particular story although <laughs> yeah it definitely grabbed me. I think it's important to look at some other work from Aaron. And the thing that's crazy is this is the same photographer. You see how amped I am? This is the same photographer that you just looked at. More work from Aaron Brimhall. Now I know that I have photographers that watch this program. You might be new. Car photography is a thing. And when you have access to a car like this insane Porsche that we're looking at right now, and you're able to execute car photography that looks like this, I think you're onto something. Do tell me if you guys agree. 
look at this. Now it's a full snowstorm and this Porsche in the in the snow, like would you take your Porsche out in this snowstorm? Look at this road, this car, the placement and how this car is really placed beautifully on the third. I mean, the composition that's in this photograph, it's, it's just incredibly, incredibly strong. I hope you guys agree. I hope you guys see it. This is more work from Aaron Brimhall. Oh, and the details. I almost need to hide my camera so you can get the full effect of this angle of the tire, the brake, the rubber. Everything about this photograph is winning for me. Oh, <laughs> yes or yes. Yes or yes. Look at the leading line. Look at the movement of this car. The leading line, the motion blur. The car is tack sharp. The fact that the photographer is quite low, so you can see the stance of the car and, of course, the incredible scenery. This I've put together to inspire. And I'm sure you know out there who you are and why I put this particular photographer on the list today. Aaron Brimhall. Let's look at a little bit more from Aaron. Let's look at a little bit more from Aaron. I think there's a few that I'm missing. Here it is. I think there's a few that I missed. Let's just get into, yes, yes. Oh. This is where we left off. Look at the interior. And he did this interior out at the same location. He brought in some LED gels, which changed the color of the yellow to a little bit orange. But you can see the windshield is still has mist on it. This is really just a clever way to get interiors on a car the same day that you're shooting your exteriors. I mean, same photographer, Aaron Brimhall. I hope you guys are understanding why I chose this photographer. It's not about that skateboarding story. It's about the fact that this is all one shooter and this one shooter has such a great sensibility that he's creating magic not just with skateboarding with cars with motorcycles he's telling stories this is all work by Aaron Brimhall and they're I, I mean, there's so many clickable stories. There's so many clickable stories. Some of his ideas are just unbelievable. It, it, it's, it's so visually appealing. Aaron Brimhall. Yes or yes? Do let me know if you're feeling this photographer in this stories. Oh. So going back to Aaron's early work that I shared with you, that skateboard story that stopped me. This is the same photographer. So you can see it's the life, it's the movement, it's the action, it's the story, it's the lifestyle. You can see now more than ever, it's actually Aaron's style that is coming through. Truly, it, it's more his style. It's more his photography. And whatever he's shooting, he puts his style on it, his look and feel. It shows you how important style is to our picture how important leading line and a feeling of impossibility. None of Aaron's photographs are retouched. I mean, yes, there's post-production, but I mean, he's not taking this person from the studio and inserting him into this moment. All of these are real 
juxtaposition, real perspectives that really just say a lot in a single frame. So the work of Aaron Brimhoff. Guys, that is three photographers to inspire, but I mean, I have to, I just have to give you a bonus. The bonus, the bonus is, I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to handle this. This is a photography duo, okay? This photography duo, Nast Plast, they're a creative duo from Madrid, Spain. They were formed in 2006 by illustrator Fran R. Lert, the Frank, Dr. Franken, and creative director Natalia Monolino Na. Together they are called Nas Plas. Their work combines an impressive range of digital elements, abstract patterns, which they develop elaborate pieces of art with a deep aesthetic. You're not ready for this. This is what stopped me and why I'm showing you four photographers on a day that I promised you three. Pay attention. Pay attention. This is Nast Plast. Black and white photographs. Um... You can read this on your own, but I'm not gonna read it. You can pause the video and read that. Look at this. We're not gonna watch that yet. Oh yeah, we are. Look at this. Look. Look at what this creative couple are doing with photography. Okay, more. More, 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 more. They're making cinemagraphs and cinemagraphs kind of fell out of vogue for a while, but cinemagraphs are basically mixing motion and still in a single image. And when you look at photographs that um, some are cinemagraphs, I, and again, I, I have quite a bit of experience with cinemagraphs and I've been making them for a while. I kind of stopped making cinemagraphs, no lie, but um, I'm going to go back to messing with cinemagraphs because of Nast Plast and this next story that I'm going to show you. This was the story that made me discover them, but I decided to look at their most recent story and this broke my brain. This is work from Nast Plast. Again, pause the video, read that. <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm without words, you also, should be without words when you look at Nast Plast. I, I'm like crazy. It's crazy. Let's look at more. What do you guys think of the work of Nast Plast? Leave comments and let me know what you think of the fourth photography duo that I included in this episode today. This is Nast Plast. I found the work to be incredibly interesting. The fact that it's a photography duo should give you some ideas as far as creativity, working as a duo, working as a couple, a husband and wife, whatever 
the dynamic of your duo. There's power in being a team. And this creative team they call Nast Plast really has a very interesting look to their work. And just in, in, in interesting techniques to the work that make it a little bit beyond photography. You may love stories more than others, as of course I didn't love that story as much as the other ones. But guys, today I showed you four photographers. We'll call it three. That last one really was just a bonus to inspire. And the whole idea about photography is the photography that we look at should always be at a level just above where we are as photographers. We should always be looking at photographers that put their own spin on the craft and deliver just a little bit more than typical. I started with Malt Chic because of the Stupid or Genius campaign, which I thought was really genius. And as inspiration for you guys, when you're making a photograph, when, especially if you're shooting under LEDs, especially if you're shooting under natural light, to just flick that switch over to video and shoot some clips of that subject or that still life or whatever that you're shooting as a video. It should really inspire. Putting music to that, now you're able to offer your clients just a little bit more than just photographs. Video killed the radio star. Video killed the photographer who makes photographs only. We have to all embrace video as much as you might not want to. Video is 50% of what I do for a living. Although I'm a photographer, most of the things that I get hired to shoot nowadays involve some sort of video. So he was there to inspire you to shoot video. Aaron Brimhall, oh my God. Aaron Brimhall was there to inspire you to tell stories and tap into different types of subject matter. And Pierre Turteau. Pierre Turteau was there to show you, you can master natural light as well as artificial light, double exposures, filters, gels there's so many things that you can do to make your photography unique not all of it costs tons of money you saw him using plastic drop sheets that cost two dollars from the dollar store and putting that over his face in order to make incredible portraits of his subjects so guys today's episode three photographers to inspire you this although is ask a photo pro was really some inspiration. If you guys are watching this after the fact, thank you for jumping into this video. Know that I do these videos. This style of video is gonna happen once a week. Thursday, we do photo reviews. So if you're liking my photo reviews and you wanna have your photo reviews, Thursdays, photo reviews only. We start at 6 p.m. right here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider dropping it a like of like of like i'm old i'm having a stroke consider dropping it a like guys and also if you like my smiling face please consider subscribing if you love photography photography education content this is the place for you thank you guys so very much for watching and we will see you guys on the next one thanks so much very much guys